right? High 10 to start with. You're my brother, you're my friend. All right, here we go. You're my brother, you're my friend. Shake hands. You're my beginning and my end. You're all around me when the world turns and walks away. You're my sunshine on a cloudy day. You're the rain that washed my blues away. And then it's tricky, it's tricky. And I can always count on you. Cause you're my brother, sister, you're my friend. Okay, now, out of your comfort zone, find a different partner. Find a different partner. And remember the, the I can always count on you. You're tapping, you're tapping your partner's hand with your finger. All right, just a little bit faster now. Ready? You're my brother. You're my friend. You're my beginning and my end. You're all around me when the world turns and walks away. You're my sunshine on a cloudy day. You're the rain that washed my blues away, and I can always count on you, because you're my brother, sister, you're my friend. All right, another new partner, somebody different, another new partner. Get in the hang of it, good job. Are we ready? You're my brother, you're my friend. You're my beginning and my end. You're all around me when the world turns and walks away. You're my sunshine on a cloudy day. You're the rain that washed my blues away. And I can always count on you. Cause you're my brother. Sister, you're my friend. All right, now back to your original partner. Your original partner. We're going to speed it up a little bit here. Your original partner. Ready? Here we go. You're my brother. You're my friend. You're my beginning and my end. You're all around me when the world turns and walks away. You're my sunshine on a cloudy day. The rain that washed my blues away And I can always count on you Cause you're my brother, sister, you're my friend Very good, good job It's not a normal way we start the service <laughs> It could be We start something new all right, stay, stay standing though, please. Uh, yeah, we got some good Let's worship here. Let's sing praise.
So being the first Sunday of the month, we do this thing called Godwalker Sunday. So if you're not familiar, we have these like little uh, binders up front. And the reason those are there is because in a minute, the praise team is going to sing a song and we're going to have the opportunity to come up and write names in these books of people that we're praying for. And you could even put your own name in the book if you need prayer. Um, some of us have a walk with God and sometimes we even backslide. So we need to renew our walk with God. And so if you need prayer, we invite you to write your name, or if there's someone in your life that you really want to pray for, we invite you to write their name. And I felt like maybe sharing something, um, is that okay? <laughs> okay. So, you know, Pastor Jim had a good thing the other week about, like, asking permission to pray for somebody. So I'm going to try to exhort you a little bit. Uh, do I have your permission to exhort you a little bit? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Exhorting is just encouraging, so don't worry. It's going to be It's going to be good. But basically, um, what I felt the Lord wanted me to share to encourage y'all is in, and I'm a little jittery, I don't know if you've noticed, but I, I'm, I'm, uh, 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 it takes me like about 90 seconds to get over that. So um, yeah, just uh, I'm going to read and not look at you, and so then I won't see that you're looking at me. Um, and basically, it's from Luke chapter 11, where it says, um, Jesus is talking about prayer. This is right after he got done teaching the disciples how to pray, like what kinds of things you should pray. Um, you know, you know, Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name, all that, if you remember. But then he goes in and gives them an example of kind of like the whole idea of persistence in prayer, which is just as important, what to pray and how to pray, right? So here's how to pray. Jesus says, which of you who has a friend will go to him at midnight and say to him, friend, let me have three loaves, for a friend of mine has arrived on a journey and I have nothing to set before him. And he will answer from within, don't bother me, the door is shut, and my children are in here, in, here with, in bed, and I can't get up and give you anything. But I tell you, though he will not get up and give him anything because he is his friend, yet because of his impudence, or you could also say persistence, because of his persistence, he will rise and give him whatever he needs. And I tell you, Jesus says, ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks, it will be opened. What father among you, if his son asks for a fish, will instead give him a serpent?
And so, if it's all right, may I pray for you? Okay, Lord Jesus, I just want to pray for everybody here today that you would fill them up with your Holy Spirit. And you said if we ask in faith that you will give us what we receive. You said if we ask, seek, and knock that you'll do these things. And so we're standing here believing and receiving that you will provide the Holy Spirit so that we can in turn pray for our friends, so that we can get bread from you and give it to the neighbor that we're trying to serve in the middle of the night. Lord, when people are in need, they need us to stand in the gap and go get help and be the bread bringers in their life. So give us bread from heaven, Lord. Help us to serve our friends and lift them up in prayer and do so with persistence, knowing that that's just the way you like it. For some reason, we trust that that's the best way. So, Lord, we continue on asking and seeking and knocking and ask, please, Lord, pour out your Holy Spirit and please bring our friends into salvation. Bring us into a renewed walk with you and restore our salvation so that we have joy in our salvation and that joy overflows. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's sing the word of God.